preoccupation right now in the markets and everywhere else are rate cuts. When can we expect the RBI to cut rates? That will depend on the incoming data. That will depend on the outlook. I find that markets all over the world, uh, financial markets all over the world have uh, started talking about rate cuts. Whereas the central banks are nowhere near it as per their uh, stated, you know, as per the statements which are coming out from various central banks. So far as India is concerned, inflation has moderated from the peak of 7.8%, which we saw immediately after the onset of the Ukraine war. Inflation has steadily moderated. It has come within our target range of 2 to 6%, but our target being 4%, we are still, you know, moving towards 4%. So we have to reach 4%. Till we reach 4% on a kind of a sustainable or a durable basis, I think it will be too premature to talk about uh, rate cuts. But in expectations the context of India. are that you get to 4% before 2025, which means you get there this year. Could we see possibly rate cuts in the second half? You see, I have said uh, yesterday in another forum that uh, next year our expectation of average inflation, average the for the whole year, starting 1st April 24-25, the average uh, headline inflation is expected to be, is likely to be 4.5%, with several ups and downs. And unless we see a clear, you know, a clear evidence of, or a clear sort of, unless we reach 4%, and unless we see clear evidence that it is going to sustain at that level, it will be really premature to talk about uh, rate cuts. And at the moment, as I speak to you, the topic of rate cuts, the topic, you know, that aspect is not on our table. It's not even under discussion. Mm -hmm. Our focus is now to remain actively disinflationary, to bring the inflation to 4%. So no cuts in 2024? As we stand today, as I sit here with you, depending on the whatever forecasts we have given, it will again depend with so many uncertainties happening. It can happen both ways. I mean, there are new geopolitical flashpoints developing. Climate change, weather-related events are also affecting food prices. New bottlenecks and you know, impediments to global supply chains, uh, value chains are also coming up. So therefore, on the matter of rate cut, whether it will happen during 24 or 25, whether it will not happen, I would not like to give any kind of forward guidance. I would like to just say, that our policy currently is actively disinflationary. We will remain actively disinflationary till we reach 4% target on a durable basis. How closely are you watching the Fed? So definitely what the Fed uh, does with regard to its rates are very important. But let me also clarify and add that uh, our decisions with regard to inflation in terms of uh, you know rates, in terms of liquidity, is dependent entirely on domestic factors. That is the domestic, uh, what you call the domestic inflation growth dynamics and the outlook in particular. Do you see the Fed cutting rates this year? Markets I, started talking about six rate cuts, but now pulling back. I think uh, the markets uh, all over are uh, running ahead of the central banks and that, uh, uh, that should not happen. And uh, if they run ahead of the central bank, you know, what happens is they build up expectations and the behavior of the market and the participants in the market, you know, it goes in a particular direction. We have seen almost every central bank repeatedly saying that uh, there is no, you know, we are being very careful and all that, but markets are, you know, running ahead. So far as India is concerned, I think the central bank that is the Reserve Bank and the markets, I think the thought process, uh, process and the outlook, uh, as far as I can see, they're well aligned. The RBI is expecting 7% growth this year. That's less than what the government is expecting, which is 7.3%. Are you being too conservative? People are talking about India's moment. You see, I'll tell you, the projection that we had made for the current year, which will end on 31st March, that is the current financial year, 23-24, our projection was 6.5%. The market consensus was also somewhere around 6.5%. In 
October, in one public event, I made a statement that I will not be surprised if the growth touches 7%. And thereafter, in the next monetary policy meeting, we said officially that we will reach 7% growth in the current financial year. Now, the day I said that we will touch 7%, the entire market thought that, you know, we were probably being uh, very optimistic. So, large part of the market was unwilling to believe, but a good part of the market adjusted their, you know, forecasts accordingly. So when I we said 7%, it was seen not as conservative, it was seen as <laughs> optimistic. But now the National Statistical, you know, National Statistical Office, which has access to a lot of data and later data, because we said it in October, whereas what the National Statistical Office said is very recently. So therefore, they had subsequent period data also. And they have said 7.3%. For next year, financial year, that is beginning 1st April 24-25, I have yesterday and again in another forum mentioned that uh, my sense is that the GDP growth will touch uh, 7%. And when that happens, India would have recorded GDP growth, that is real GDP growth of 7% or above for four consecutive years. Some say though it is not enough. Your predecessor, Agram Rajan, said that you need growth in excess of 8% for you to address the unemployment problem, for you to create more jobs that are needed in the country. When might you get there? And is he right in his assessment? See, I don't want to comment on whether somebody is right or wrong. But do you need 8% But uh, I'll tell you, I'll, my answer would be as follows. The growth has picked up. In fact, when COVID happened, all naysayers said that, you know, India is, uh, India is finished, India will not be able to recover. But India has shown tremendous recovery. The turnaround of the broader economy, the turnaround of the macroeconomy, the turnaround of the financial sector, in particular the banking sector, has been remarkable. And thereafter, it is 7% or above growth we are recording. So the growth momentum continues. I said next year our growth will also be 7% because the momentum of growth, the momentum of activity looks to me well maintained and is holding its ground. With regard to employment, unemployment, what you mentioned, I think let's put the record straight. The official data released by the you know the agencies which monitor all these data the statistical organizations of the government they come out with annual periodical labor force survey what is called the plfs according to the periodic uh, periodic uh, periodic labor force survey the unemployment rate in india which was 6% in 2017 18 has come down to 3.2% in 22 23 and within that, the labor force participation has also gone up and the participation of women labor in particular has seen a very steep increase. So what I would like to say is that growth has been good, growth is holding its momentum and uh, jobs are being uh, created. It's, uh, I think we need to recognize the fact that uh, uh, we need to recognize and accept what the numbers are actually showing. Even in rural areas, just one more point, even in rural areas, our experience in the recent months, particularly beginning 1st April uh, uh, 23, that is the beginning of the current five uh, current uh, financial year, even in the rural sector, uh, the, you know, the jobs are getting created. Agriculture has recovered substantially right. in, the, in the current uh, crop cycle. There was a shortfall in sowing, but now it has picked up. It's almost reached last year's levels. That is providing a lot of jobs. The demand for what is called the National Rural Employment Guarantee Program, that pressure is also not so much now. So therefore, jobs are getting created. Governor, so instead of, I think instead of looking at the numbers, whether 7, 8 or 9, I think we have to see the broad momentum, the broad direction, and whether that broad, the momentum of that direct, you know, the movement which we are making, the direction of our growth, right. whether that is well sustained.